Well, we're out for a wonder. We're down by, down above the, the little river here. And uh, I've just realized that I'm sitting on the edge of a landslide. I might not stand on it. I picked up this little flower on the way up. Lovely little flower. It's called the self-heal herb. You see it everywhere, probably in your gardens. And uh, the little flowers have got like a little mouths to them. Like, they're like a snapdragon, I guess. It's part of the mint family. And uh, it's, it doesn't taste like mint. Um, more like a very mild rosemary. And you you can put it in tea, mix it with tea, make it into a poultice. Its powers are healing, maybe a poultice for cuts and sores and things like that. Uh, tea for a, 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 a sore throat, that kind of thing. Self heal plant, except it's not really self heal, is it? Because you've got to apply it. It's, all these things are, were known in times past and have kind of been forgotten and replaced by uh, prescribed medicines. Um, uh, most of the prescribed medicines involve these. There's a lot of research being done into this little plant itself. It's a psalm, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. And uh, in that psalm, it speaks about how God will uh, heal your diseases, cover your iniquities, and save you, and make you right. And uh, that statement, forget not, forget not. How, how could you forget that God is good? Uh, how could you forget his benefits? But we do, we do forget his benefits in the busyness of life we forget all the benefits of God. We forget that he heals us. We forget that he, he touches us and he can deal with our sins if we just but come to him, if we uh, apply his word to our lives. And so here we are with a little, little plant to remind us. It's not about self-healing. It's about God healing. And uh, I commend the living God to you. Well, from me and my little friend, who's got a bit bored. Have a good day. God bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace.